Hey guys, welcome to Gato Williams Retouch once again. Today I'm here with another retouching walkthrough, a celebration of my 1000 subscriber. Um, before you do anything, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button, make sure and like this video, comment, and make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like to purchase this PSD for your personal preview or other needs, be sure to send me a message on Facebook with the link to this video so that I can know which PSD you would like and the price to purchase the PSD is $30 and payments can be made with PayPal. This happens to be one of my more favorite retouches I've ever done because it gives that that texture effect that a lot of a lot of people tend to want to achieve but what people really need to know is that this texture effect isn't something that is added in post-production but it's something that is maintained or something that you have to preserve from your original image because the original image obviously does have the texture to begin with and here you can see the texture and this is the original image and you can see there was a lot of work had to be put into creating this image and this is the final image now I happen to like this this crop a lot better than this crop but the client the photographer asked me to crop out the eyes and yeah so that's what I had to do um, I'm gonna walk through every group more or less and show you guys a little bit of what I had to do. No, this was my working file. All I did was add some pinks to her lip, which was the original color of her lip. <laughs> then I did some skin cleanup, which obviously came a long way. I left these moles because they were just moles so I kept the moles and I cleaned up most of the skin. Now I have reduced the image to 72 dpi for the sake of the video and for the video to run smoothly, the recording to run smoothly but this is really what healing was done a lot of healing actually was done and I didn't want to do too much healing to the point where I removed all of the texture that I needed to preserve now now this was my my overall dodging and burning and well shortcuts obviously my inverted high pass and my dodging and burning together Now this was my dodging and burning alone, but this was after inverted high pass was used, and this is what the inverted high pass did. Now the inverted high pass was used on such a high radius that it didn't remove any of the texture, or it didn't affect the texture in any way. As you can see, this is the inverted high pass. This is all the textures are all preserved and. Basically, you just smooth out transitions between shadow and light, and it obviously makes the work a lot, the workload a lot less. Even though it still took quite a while, and this was my dodging and burning, and my dodging and burning actually did affect texture, as you can see, especially in these areas. My dodging and burning was really intense and I'm gonna show you what my dodging and burning looked like on a 50% grey layer now here you can see well this was most of the dodging and burning there was more than as I proceeded I did a lot more but this was the main and I'm gonna add some contrast just so you can see details on this dodge and burn layer 
the details. You can literally see the skin texture on my dodging and burning layer. It's amazing. I really like this mask, dodging burning layer. Sorry. You can literally see the skin texture. That's but this image obviously was shot with a really good light and camera and stuff like that so that's why the texture is so strong now i created a split to do some work obviously i wanted to maintain texture at a very high radius as well as you can see texture is all still on my high all the texture is still there and I painted between the high and the low to really smooth out the hands a bit. I couldn't use the the inverted high pass on the hands because the edges were so close to each other as you can see. So I had to create the split and basically paint between the split and this is what I painted. Now I created a lot of splits because the different things I needed to affect um, the texture on that level was obviously it was different. Like in this case, I needed to affect the hands, but I needed to keep the texture. But at a certain level, but I think eventually I had to um, reduce level because it wasn't exactly affecting the I'm not sure how to put this but it wasn't affecting the I'll show you yeah I, um, I basically cleaned up the edges I cleaned up the edges of the image I probably lost some texture here as you can see right here, I'm noticing this now, but this is like years later, so I'm not really gonna try fixing that now, but I clean up the edges of the lips. And uh, basically, I think this was another split, or oh, this was a, a dodge and burn, so this is what I did. Dodge and burn, and then I did some healing around the edges of her face and her lips and corners of her nails, etc. Some detailing, dodging and burning. That's what I did there. Then I created another split, and I think it was on a lower radius because the level, as you can see, a lot, a lot of texture is still in the low. And that's what I wanted to do for the hand so that I can really smooth out things a bit I need to keep a lot more in the low than any high a lot less texture in the hands because the hands were a bit rough so I kept a lot in the hands so that I could actually paint and smooth things out and this is what I did on the hands really did a lot by painting then I dodged and burned slightly then I made another split once again just to do some minor things on the hand minor painting on the hand again I think what this time was with a higher radius okay probably not but just to clean up some areas on the hand I did that and then I fixed the teeth as you can see I basically took this side and brought it to this side so it looked even 
because you can clearly see inside of her mouth then I adjusted the color the brightness of the highlights and a little bit of the color as well and I added a gradient map as well to smooth out the skin tones then I chose the final color adjustments for the image which was this purple nice magenta color that I really like and I think that was about it in this layer here you could barely notice anything but I actually did use a blur and you know a lot of people have, have a lot of have a lot of bad <laughs> thoughts about this Gaussian blur but it can be used very well if you know what to do with it you don't use it to smooth out skin but you use it to just create uniformity to create depth as well like on over shot areas you can use it to just soften it a bit not to make the skin smooth but just to um, make the sharpness even throughout but in this case I used it to create depth to blur this area neck area which really doesn't have much texture to begin with and behind hand as well then I added the focus to uh, I create um, added a levels adjustment to bring the focus to her face and uh, that's because her face really seemed to not have as much light and her hand basically looks like it's calling all the attention so I added some light to her face, some minor dodging and burning liquify then I dodged and burn I dodged away this deep shadow on the right side of her face because I felt like it was a bit one-sided and I wanted to create a sense of symmetry and I think that was about it afterwards I just cropped out her eyes because of the request from the photographer I actually didn't and I actually wanted to leave this mole as well but the photographer asked that I remove the mole as you can see it right here so I removed the mole and I cropped the image and this was the final image and I love the texture I just absolutely love it now if you guys would like to purchase this PSD for review you can leave me a message on Facebook or drop me an email you can find my email on Facebook I'm not gonna say my email in this video and I won't post my email in my description because I tend to get a lot of spam so you can go to my Facebook facebook.com slash feathered pixels retouch or you can just search Garth Williams retouch or you can google Garth Williams retouch it's probably a couple a couple links down because there's some other author called Garth Williams that is actually taking up the first page of Garth of the search Garth Williams so unfortunately I'm not going to be there but Garth Williams retouch should be the first so yeah this is the final and like I said you can um you can purchase the this PSD I'm going to allow you to purchase this PSD at a small cost and payments can be made via PayPal it's going to cost thirty dollars thirty dollars to purchase this PSD um, when you're contacting me on Facebook please be sure to send me the link to the video of the PSD that you would like to purchase the link to the video so that I can know exactly what um, link you want and you can make the payments via PayPal and you will get the images 
the PSD as seen in this video um, be sure to subscribe be sure to like share leave a comment let me know what you guys think about the retouch let me know if it looks overdone let me know if it looks professional let me know what you guys think share the video and let me know so thank you guys for supporting me over my my journey just trying something new on youtube here and i hope you guys continue to support and thank you for subscribing and keeping with me